Anti drunk driving advocates say there's still lots of work to be done to put the brakes on both first time and repeat DUI offenders. Mothers Against Drunk Drivers spent decades in that effort hoping to toughen up state laws. Three News Now reporter Megan Hahn joins us now with a look at our DUI laws. Megan? Nebraska laws have enhanceable penalties for consecutive DUIs, meaning jail time and even court fees can increase with each DUI conviction. A crime that advocacy groups call 100% preventable, driving under the influence. And in Nebraska, laws are considered some of the toughest on the books. You have a standard DUI um, where someone tests a 1-5 or below, and then Nebraska, we have an aggravated DUI where someone tests a 1-5 or above. And it's important to realize that that 1-5 is kind of a magic line because the penalties for someone who tests below a 1-5 are different than someone that tests above a 1-5. Being convicted of a standard DUI for a first offense doesn't necessarily mean time in jail, but penalties increase for each consecutive DUI, in some cases up to 20 years in jail. For felony aggravated DUIs, the penalties are much tougher, including up to 50 years in prison and having a driver's license suspended for 15 years. But each case is up to the discretion of the judge handing down the sentence. Statistically, one-third of all the first-time uh, DUI offenders will repeat, um, and so they obviously did not learn their lesson the first time, and so it's important for the judicial system to hold those offenders accountable. Advocacy organizations say the law is just one part of preventing DUIs. The enforcement piece is just a part of the puzzle. The laws are just a part of the puzzle. So we need to look at increasing the price of alcohol, um, so increasing taxes on alcohol, um, looking at um, sobriety checkpoints, doing those more frequently because those aren't done uh, a lot. Nebraska also has a look back period, which means DUI convictions that predate the most recent charge by more than 15 years are not considered when determining if an offender has committed multiple consecutive DUIs. Reporting live in studio, I'm Megan Hahn, 3 News Now.